army has its own weaponized robot, the Sword's Talon. It's much smaller than the Gladiator. Top speed is 5.2 miles per hour, about the same speed as a running soldier. If you walk into an ambush site, I'd prefer to have the robot go up first, and hopefully attract the fire. That way we can actually utilize the robot to identify the enemy and assist in elimination. The Sword's Talon is an all-weather, all-terrain tracked vehicle with day and night capabilities. Several mounted cameras relay images to an operator as far as half a mile away. This camera here in particular is a surveillance camera. We can actually rotate 360 degrees up and down, whatever we really want it to do. We also have a zoom capability to it. We can mount a PBS-14 night vision monocle onto it so we actually have night vision capability within the robot. The scene camera here actually works along with the weapon sight camera. The sight camera will tell us exactly where the bullet's going to land. Um, we have two other cameras on the vehicle. We have a front camera and a rear drive camera to assist in driving the robot itself. The sword's talon weighs approximately 200 pounds with a mounted weapon system, so it is easily transported into combat. We can actually download it off the back end of a Humvee, roll it out the back side of a striker vehicle or armored vehicle, and put it right into action. The military is putting the Swords Talon and the Gladiator through their final paces and will soon deploy them into active duty. The robots themselves, these things are amazing. We can have them do anything they want. They don't complain like our regular soldiers do. Uh, they don't cry, they don't, they're not scared. This robot here has no fear, which is a good supplement to the United States Army.